to D2 and D3. I agree with that. It kept the Diablo 2 feeling. Even though it's not a Diablo game. I think, yeah, I agree with you. Path of Exile was a better follow-up. So Hungry, if you can just take down that fortress, I'll be very very much helpful. He didn't take the... Um, he didn't take Ulan. Wait, what? what? What's what's wrong with Ulan? What do you mean? I haven't taken it. Uh, could you um, could you just name it Poundland? Low quality products at cheaper than cheap prices that you can pay for. What? I believe that you're judging Diablo 3 at launch with Diablo 2 Lord Destruction with Gears of Patches. Um, I played I played Diablo 2 uh, Diablo 3 two two three weeks ago. I I still say it's a pretty good game. Diablo 3 is a pretty good game, though it's not a Diablo game in my opinion. It's too happy. Or, I don't know what to say. It just feels too bright and shining. Uh, I was surprised to see you on Rue's stream. Yeah, uh, that's the guy I've been watching streaming. And he's the one really pulling me into Diablo 2 again. Awesome streamer. Check him out. Um, Vesanus, if you can link to his Twitch stream. Um, that would be super, super cool. Because I don't have it available for me. Currently. Really cool Diablo 2 streamer. And uh, you should check him out. So um, yeah, let's just grab war operation and break your alliance with, with Denmark, because yeah, I will have to deal with you much later, and that should be 100% against him. And I completely forgot to say something about something, but whatever. Uh, let's see, Ulan was one of new cavalry picks. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a better one. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Of course, you should pick Ulan, because. Low fire on um, horses, high shock on horses, and high morale. Always pick the one with highest offensive morale. In my, in my, I'm always picking the one with highest offensive morale. Then I pick shock for cavalry, fire for cannons, uh, fire for infantry units, and for cannons, it. I don't know. It depends on what I like. Daniel, avoid whimsy, Dane, Dale Scala, and you got the dark stuff just fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, thank you for linking him. Pretty cool guy. If you, if you like Diablo 2, check him out. Does Norway just own those two provinces? If so, you could sell them the other half of Iceland. They'll form it. Really? Next quality. Are you sure they will form Iceland? Oh, whatever. I'll just take them. I'll just kill them. So let's see. Denmark, it's time for you to go. Bye bye Denmark. And since you are in my territory, it uh, seems like you have some rebels that I will have to deal with. So let's grab a 20 stack right here. And let's core everything. Because this is mine. Alright, oh, uh, we don't have enough points. So let's start boosting admin now. Um, we have a level 3 one already. Good. Let them give consent. Yeah, sure. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We have maximum points of Diplo. Let's see if we can do anything. 5% Greek, 4% Swedish, 4% Swedish. Um, so we're actually gonna do. Let's see. Find the culture. Danish, you should be removed, but I can't deal with it right now. Norwegian, get removed. Serbian. Yeah, that's good enough. And the fleet. How about World War Wednesday? I think it depends on the United States. Yeah, United, if we're gonna have any chance of winning the World War Wednesday, we need United States to put a, a, comp, a much higher part of their army in Europe. They need to basically bring down every single division they have, but that leaves their west open for them, so they need to pull in many more troops at least to Europe. How much will I'll have to talk with him later. Let's see. Um, his role missing an empire. 90% of the loss I checked. AI will always do it. Oh, cool. So they will always form it. Let's see. Should I risk it? And I can't release him right now. No Iceland. 
Hello, Norway. So, yeah, otherwise we'll just kill them, I think. Yeah, let's grab some money for it. Uh, wait, am I coring it? Then I should cancel it, yeah. So, Norway, take that province. But wait, it, it does it have to be only th those two Norwegian provinces? Do you have any more provinces, Norway? You have one, two, three provinces in New World. Hmm. Whatever, I will sell it to you, and if if not, I will just take you later. 25 gold. Please form Norway, or form Iceland as soon as you have cored it. Because I really want a big Icelandic empire now. Uh, did you make allies for Tuesday, or are we gonna see friends fall? Um, I have allies, but we'll see. Uh, lower taxes. Yeah, let's lower them. He needs less than four provinces. It won't work. Ah, oh, god damn it. So, come on, Norway. Let's see. Can I... <laughs> Somehow vassalize you, maybe? Wait, we don't actually have a truce or anything with them. And then we just force you to release Norway as part of the peace deal. Or uh, Iceland. Maybe? Um, but that's your ally. Let's just declare war. So we sell them a province then we declare war against them. Uh, let's grab a fully full stack and let's give them a really good leader. So they can most certainly beat down the Norwegian. And let's rush up. You can't make them release island. Oh, so it's so just something they have to form. So, okay, they have to form it then. So we'll just make them release the other three provinces in New World or something similar. Okay, sorry. So I misunderstood how everything would work. How right, if you can reduce them to four provinces and vassalize them, they should form Iceland while being a subject. Okay, so I'll take one of the provinces. Not here, of course. But then vassalize them. I don't care. Empress Consort Regency. I'm actually kind of fine with it. A 366. Yeah, I'm kind of fine with that Regency. Surprisingly. Uh, let's send you down right there now. Prussian men are standing by. Good. Let's make that a core, yes. Don't forget their small island north of Britain. Oh, right, this one, that's actually the capital. So while we're here, let's just grab that one. And that will actually probably be enough if that's, no, that's not their capital. Where are they, capital? Is their capital in the new world? Yeah, it's in the new world, but uh, let's at least beat down their army that is right here. How is Curland doing? Curland is doing really, really well. Curland is doing really, really well. And they're gonna get even more territory from Sweden and Moscow when I declare war against them. Let's actually do it. Since this is gonna be a tiny puny war that are not gonna be any troubles at all to finish. For Finland, of course, because Finnish. Sorry. But, um, yeah. Tech done. Nice. Take that province. Cool. Let's rush down. Just because it goes faster for them to actually join the harbor then instantly attach then you walk to the fleet come on stop being idiots is there any more provinces you have um, red red nothing here no weird island that you've been taking nothing cool then go in right there is Ulm still alive I don't know let's yes Ulm is still alive and well but they're in a war and uh, I don't know they might get the next. Then went with the American dream. <laughs> That's a random question. How long have you been at Paradox for? Um, yeah, you're fine to ask any random questions you want. I've been at Paradox for two years and a couple of months. Wait, what? I can gain 40 militarization. Okay, uh, let's see. While various systems increase standing army, 
the country could su- uh, should the, uh, the country could support have been undertaken in the past. They have not been sufficient for our needs. Now that our bureaucracy is advanced enough to support more rigid system, Vera has drawn up a plan to reshape the old provincial militias and mercenaries entirely. The country will be divided in cantons and each residing men will be expected to enroll in the army. Civilian enrollment should remain limited and Severo intends to military administration for each regiment to be responsible for recruitment within a canon, the canton. Prussian, uh, Prussia is an army with a state, not a state with an army. Okay, cool. Pretty cool thing. Pretty cool thing. We cannot let military needs dictate the needs of the state. I really want to pick this one. Uh, the Kansas system allows us to recruit an army uh, many times the size of one would expect from our population. Lose one stability, gain 40 militarization and gain, gain 27,000 manpower. Can I read for the love of God? No, I cannot. Uh, let's see, the, uh, the, uh, the string from newly forged government institutions will be put to excellent revenue instead of people. Yeah, I think so. Because I don't need that 27,000 men right now. So yeah, let's gain that money and stability. And with that money... This isn't the most efficient way of spending it, but it's all the places I left. I basically filled up everything else. Um, that's a place build. Let's place down down there. That's really good places. That's fine. So we're basically just building everywhere now because we need just need more manpower. We don't basically care where or why. Just more manpower. Uh, there's some land near South America. He has an island in Caribbean. Oh, did I miss it? Let's select Norway. Right here. Cool, cool, thanks. Um, I will prob- oh wait, wait, that would actually mess up my count. So yeah, we'll just have to go down and deal with it. Let's split up. I don't think it matters that I remove most of my infantrymen. Let's just occupy all of it at the same time. Cool, put a Protestant faith. Sure, let's go. Let's go religion. <laughs> Give me more opinion with my neighbors so I don't have to send out my diplomats. Soon we have integrated Hungary, which is a great step. So let's just bring both of these down. I don't expect to bring down your ally. If I can just PC out, that would be fine. Yeah. There's more land in Brazil. Really, how much land do you have? You have quite a lot of land, so we just have to take more from you. Uh, thank you for the follow. Free wet six R. All dirty chimney. I forgot to thank you and Babala Loba. Thank you for the follow. Sorry for missing you when you followed. And that's ninety nine percent. So I guess we can just grab whatever we want now. Yes, indeed. So first of all, let's grab everything. Okay, yeah, this is everything they have. That's full annexation. So let's remove that and that. And... Protectorate, because you're so bad. I don't know what to do now. Hmm. If I take them, can I... I, could, I should be able to release them as a vassal, but that vassal would demand all of this. Or at least this. Ah, <sighs> Yeah, I guess we, have, we need to have a round two later. Wait, if I release Denmark? That's only one province, god damn it. Wait, we release Denmark. Okay, okay. We release Denmark, we take that province. That's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. 
So we'll just let them be and come back for round two later. And war reparation, sure. And now we have some provinces in the new world. Let's just core everything. And uh, let's pull everyone back. Thank for the follow. Doggy style now. And Iceland. Cool. Hello Iceland. Breaking truce. Almost that I want to break truce. Just instant grab you. But yeah, Icelandic Empire it is. Good that you know that he instant would form it. I would have been very confused uh, to see how to actually solve this otherwise. Our, our royal marriage died. Wait, does that mean your ruler? No. Yeah, your ruler died, but... Have Regency Council. If only you died now. That could be perfect for me. Yeah, sure. Let's help them out. So you don't have to bother with that land anymore. Which land? If World War C ever happened, we should all go to Iceland. <laughs> and I don't think that would be the best idea because everyone would starve to death. And what are you doing here? You're kind of in the way. Did I accidentally release you or something? Well, you're getting removed at least. That thing is sure. And Hungary, please just bring them down. And now I'm not using the V key again. I should be using the V key. Austria, let's marriage. Yes. Let's marriage. <laughs> hey girl, I really love you. Let's marriage. <laughs> that sounds like a comedy sketch or something. Revolt, how surprising. You go in there and bring them down. Let's see. More places to core? No, we cannot because they are inlands in the new world and we don't have access to it. Uh, if shit hits the fan, I'm getting on a sailing boat and heading to the open sea. <laughs> no, you're going to the oil platform that is like somewhere here that counts as an independent nation the sea land i think but with the s yeah that's a real nation and it's ridiculous conversion successful all oh, right something more we're making stuff to course so we'll have to wait oh maybe that was the thing no there's a small problem with storms sea land will never surrender <laughs> Zealand will surrender if the great Prussian army tells them to surrender. Seems like a lot of people know here about Zealand. Pretty funny story about that nation. Ah, uh, 100% cool. Give me my land. Uh, I don't care about you, but actually, you can. I could just give you to Hungary, and that would just be a, a, a small amount of more land. That just goes to me quite soon when they're integrated. Cool, pick you free. Oh wait, I can't pick all of you. Okay, let's see, can I separate piece you? Yes, I can, but I can't take all. If I do you with the same piece deal, that works. Okay, cool, uh, abusing piece mechanics. Um, nothing to worry about, so let's do it. Cool, Hungry has cool borders now. Or good borders. Let's grab everything. Nice. And now let's use the V button. Oh, this is so nice. And I accidentally sent one province here, I know. But um, they should actually be there. So let's grab every single <laughs> unit once again. And say, you are standing there. 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 And then we have two additional provinces there and there. Release Scotland into the Empire. No. Uh, Paradox dev abusing the game. <laughs> of course. That's what I'm here for. Abuse the game. Have a good time. And just play it as anyone, of, anyone else. 
Daniel, uh, people don't want to play Hoi 4 against me because I use dirty, strats, dirty strats. Stop using them. I'm playing Hoi 4 because it's fun and doing cool strats. Like throwing men into battle until they die. Time and time again. Until they actually break through. Head first. Give it inflation, let's reduce it. So, more Diplo power. Let's convert a couple more provinces that are not accepted. Let's see, Albanian, Bulgarian, Finnish. I'm finished with you. Come on, I c can't I stop doing those bad jokes? And let's actually do that province too. What dirty strats do you use? <laughs> too much artillery. He's a QA of all people, that's his job, yeah. QA with AI specialization. Let's see, 10 prestige, 25, or just 10 unrest. Let's them actually. Let's not get that unrest. Uh, splitting air force into tiny wings make them stronger and stuff. That is could be one of the things you could be using, but it's no no fun. It's cooler to have larger ones. You can see more damage heavy stuff. Okay, lots of new provinces. God damn it! Oh wait, wait, that was a new one. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, since we have DLC for Commonwealth in Hoi 4, do you think minor nations get DLC like the Baltics? They don't even have custom portraits. I think eventually, but I don't actually, like I, like I always feel I have to say, I don't know the plans, I can't confirm anything. If you wanted that kind of stuff, ask during World War Wednesday and ask Dan. Just pin, just pin Paradox Interactive and say, Dan, will Baltics have stuff? And if, if he says yes, then they will probably get it. If he doesn't, I don't know. Alright, I think it's time to clear war against Moscow. They have allies which are Tiver and Circassia. That. Oh, actually, whoa, you have grown quite a bit. They're usually just a small nation over here, but yeah, they've grown very, very large. So, uh, yeah, let's declare war against Moscow and take lots of stuff. And your capital is. Susdal? Okay, right there, so. Yeah, let's grab it. Um, it seems like we have a tiny bit to split off. Split up nation, so let's split you in two and add you t 10 here. That's 30k. That's 40k. Let's go right like this. Cool. And declare the war. Yeah. Just doing some small planning in my head. Wait, wait, what? How the game paused? We, I think we almost lost that battle because of the river penalties. God, that could have been bad. Embarrass, embarrass myself in the first battle of the war. Let's see, how many men do you have? Okay, I have more. And all you, all my vassals, please be aggressive. Cool. And actually, nobility wants more land. And I think I can provide. There's a really good provinces for nobility. Let's find one with high manpower. Come on, don't I have any good land with high manpower? I think I upgrade one here. Blinking, yeah? Yeah. Go to nobility. How much more land do you want? Okay, you're fine now. And let's call that one again. Cool. And here's a lot of new troops. Unfortunately, Moscow, that won't matter. Because I will bring you down. Slowly but steadily. Let's f increase the autonomy everywhere. Because for me, it doesn't really matter. I have enough man men. I have enough manpower. So it would basically only be annoying if you rose up. Because it could beat you down very easily. And we have a lot of extra manpower to actually use. So let's build a nice 39 province division if I had enough money enough money for it. So let's go in and grab even more. Um Danny, do you think there would be an Iron Sky DLC for Hoi 4 where the Nazis invade from the dark side of the moon after losing the war? I am um, well, let's say like this, I will will definitely support it if such a DLC will appear. That would be awesome. <laughs> 
I, I need to look into Iron Sky lore more. Like, I haven't actually done it, I just heard it, it sounds awesome. That conspiracy theory that Nazis actually fled to space. Isn't it a conspiracy theory too? Or something similar. Iron Sky was a terrific movie. Iron Sky is a lore. The mo it's so stupid, the movie. <laughs> so uh, it seems like you can't agree on the movie. Terrific or stupid? Was it stupidly terrific? How was it? It's super stupid, but that's what's cool about it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I need to watch it. I'm, I'm probably gonna watch the movie today. Yeah, let's do it after the stream. I'm gonna just take my iPad and watch the movie later before I go to sleep. Uh, let's see. Lose legitimacy. Yeah, sure. Let's lose the le legitimacy and let's get it back again. Yeah, let's actually get all of that back instantly. So all of this is just gonna go to Kurland. Hmm. Yeah. All of this over this border is gonna go to them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Curlin was gonna, like, transfer slowly. You were gonna go down like this. And Finland is gonna get all the rest. Yes, yeah, so that was it. So I'm gonna give this to Curlin. Let's do this. So I don't forget it and accidentally take it for myself or something similar. Because nice borders is really important. So let's fix this. No, come on. Because I want big vassals. And they, they're gonna bow to me because I'm much more superior. Especially once I integrate Hungary. That's just gonna be a massive boost to my well, prowess. It's re really stupid. It's stupid, it's good. Okay, <laughs> Katsuren, I trust you and I will watch it. And I will go in with that mindset. It's stupid, but it's stupid good. Crazy idea, Daniel. Crazy idea. Daniel is in the Iron Sky lore. What? I am? <laughs> the mad, brilliant strategist that fled to the moon is now taking over the world. If there's someone like that, yeah, maybe. Okay, a rebel army led by pretenders marching forward to Hungary's castle pest. Family members, is supposed in monarchy, have managed to gather up a large... The following is now time to dethrone Empress Consort Regent Vera. Send them gold and soldiers. Thank you for follow Shazworth. Deal with himself. No, definitely. We'll send them money and manpower, of course. Let's see. If is there a real revolt too? Yeah, there is. So um Hello how about this, Moscow? Let's have peace. More because basically. I just wanna end this war. And do other stuff. Um wait, we can probably grab some to Finland too. Um, you 40k actually. Grab a leader. A 6 fire leader and deal with that revolt. How much more land do you have, Moscow? A ton more land. So actually, let's keep this going for quite a while. You 28,000, go up and grab that. You are taking this, you are taking this, good. Um, Dan doesn't need any sleep. I never need sleep. Oh, um, on on a non-stream topic, how can I as a photographer have zero pictures relating to love? Because you are not taking photos of love. This crazy idea. Uh, let's do war reparations. That was war, not in war reparations. Okay, let's break some alliances, return course to the Golden Horde. No, okay, let's just do this. And there's going to be more war score. And Tver, where are you? You're occupied. Cool. Um, you are also going to Kurland. And you, as I said before, are going to Finland. You are going to Finland. You are going to Finland. You are going to Finland. And that's just the last province I want. Then we're gonna deal with Sweden. Finland, cool. That would probably be, well, enough land. Let's see. How much did I save? Yeah. Okay. 
grabbing that will be too much. Just a lot of war score. I think this would be a good way. Let's see. I can grab that one too, but that would be... I, and that would be that will take much more, or I could end the war right now. Can I break your... Wait, that's your vassal. Right, so I'll never be able to do this. Without bringing down Moscow at the same time. So, okay, let's just finish this then, with Moscow. Let's take a lot more